Dirty Water TV is brewed in part by the famous Narragansett beer, New England's own local beer that captured the bronze medal at the 2008 World Beer Cup. Also brought to you by NightlifeNetwork.com. Fun jobs for fun people. The place where people meet. Located at 2 Broad Street in Boston. By Higgs Tickets, your ticket to the best ticket in town. And by The Greatest Bar, celebrating the greatest people, places, and moments that make Boston legendary. Hey everyone, welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Jennifer Manley. Hi, I'm Christian Fourier, still at Bucky Murphy's. In Worcester. I just love saying Worcester. It's Worcester. I know, but it, I'm from <laughs> L.A. So, listen, this place is awesome. Tons of big screen TVs, uh, lots of beer on tap. A lot of people here. Good. Great atmosphere. Good college crowd. Yes. <laughs> now, we're not done with Boston Fashion Week. Now, I have to say, the styles were great. Everyone looked so good. But Stuff Magazine, they sponsored all the after parties, and that's where we all had a ton of fun. I mean, that is our favorite magazine, and we can't give them enough props for the entire week. So let's check out more of Boston Fashion Week. I am so excited to be guest reporting during Dirty Water TV's Fashion Week coverage. It's the middle of the week. It's been a great week of fashion so far. And we're here at the City Bar. We're going to go inside and see how everyone's surviving all these parties. It's been absolutely stunning and amazing. I've enjoyed all the after parties, but I especially enjoyed the Mendoza show yesterday at Liberty Hotel. It was by far my favorite. I was very impressed, you know, just to see that we do have a fashion statement here. I think Boston is becoming the place to be. You know, it's fashion, it's movies, film, a lot of things are going on in Boston. I am here with Michael Diskin, creative director at Stuff, and he has been at basically every party, every show, and we're here to talk to him, see how he's holding up and what he thinks about this week. We've been going strong and uh, we're halfway through and we're looking forward to the second half. So. so what do you think about the feel at City Bar right now? Uh, now we're back here, we're, we're, right. we're celebrating. It's, it's kind of chill. Everyone's kind of taking a sort of a subdued approach to their after party night and they're, they're saving their energy for the, the next half of the week. Wow, Boston Fashion Week has such a great vibe and we still have two more nights to go. I'm Allison Cronin, Miss Massachusetts. Next up, we have Jennifer Manley being fashionably late at the Liberty Hotel. Jen, what's the pulse like over there? Hi, Allison. I'm here at the fabulous Liberty Hotel for fashionably late Thursday. Quick becoming the most stylish event in town. For a party that's called fashionably late, this weekly event at the stunning Liberty Hotel came right on time just as Boston was poised to put this cosmopolitan city on the map for Fashion Week 2009. Tonight we've got Michael Apollo. I'm actually wearing one of his gowns. He's amazing. Um, you know, a couple days ago for Fashion Week, Sam Mendoza was here, but he's also done a Fashion Week Late Thursdays, which is great. Samuel Vartan, Daniela Corte, so it's been great. Tonight's fashion spotlight was on Michael DePaulo's couture evening collection, and once the fashion show was over, the soiree kicked up a notch with a stuff after party. Thursday nights at the Liberty Hotel. It's pretty much the apex of fashion. And we've got an amazing show. We've got a lot of VIPs down there partying. Uh, tonight's gonna be pretty special. Fashion Week is amazing this year. We're very excited. All the designers that are out, all the fabulous after parties. We're just really embracing it. We're excited to see something like this. As a large mall in the area, not only is it designers, but it's also shoppers and consumers out there really engaging in this this week's events. Yes, it was a great party, but I'm ready to go home. Toss over to Julie Weatherby at the Langham Hotel. What's going on, Julie? Thanks, Jen. I'm here to wrap up an amazing week of fashion here at Bond at the Langham Hotel, where we're finding Boston Fashion Week is ending with mixed emotions. We watched the hottest fashions being strut on catwalks all over Boston and celebrated some of the poshest after parties around town. And tonight, the party comes to a frenzied end at Bond, where the glamorous come for sophisticated cocktailing. It's exhausting, yes, and I just came back from New York last week, so it's been a two-week hurdle. But um, it's exciting, it's a great time of year. It makes you motivated, you know, to keep going, and um, when things go well, it absolutely helps. 
the music was cranking and the after party attendees celebrated the end of Fashion Week with both sadness and relief. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm exhausted. Thank God for Red Bull and lots of makeup. I'm totally ready tomorrow to just relax and have a massage, but I'm sad it's over. It was an incredible week, and Boston Fashion Week has come so far. Every year, it just gets, each year it gets better and better. I'm excited for next year, um, but I'm not gonna lie. My feet hurt. I'm excited to just uh, call, it, call it a week. I mean, I'm proud of Boston, you know, I'm proud of us. We, we, we kicked butt this week, and it's really exciting. Are you proud of us for the parties or for the fashion or both? Both, absolutely. You know, we have this really awful reputation as being this boring, stuffy old town, and we're not. You know, there's so, such great talent here. We've got great nightlife venues, um, and, and we really do know how to throw a party. Boston Fashion Week is a testament to that, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of both. Leave it to Boston to turn Fashion Week into a week-long party. I'm Julie Weatherby. Back to you guys. Up next, Dolly Gala Athlete. And the Miller Lite Farhawk, all when Dirty Water TV returns.